So what did we build? We built a ocean liner. So this is an ocean liner that we built. It's got some smokestacks, radar, uh, some antennas. It's got the crew uh, bridge, if you will, up here. And then it's got the uh, cargo containers sitting on top and also inside the belly of the ocean liner. So now the question is, will it float? So now we got a test will it float. So let's bring in the water. So we got ourselves a little water here. Let's zoom out actually. Can we zoom out? Yep. So we got ourselves a bowl of water and a towel. And we're going to test will this ocean liner, let's zoom out just a little bit more. Will this ocean liner float? So let's put it in the water real slow. And it, I like I, like I was singing, it's not holding up straight, but it is holding air within its cavity. Let's see if I can get it to sit up straight a little more. It's top heavy, so it's not necessarily floating very well. And that left, the left side of the boat looks like it's a lot heavier, but it is, I don't know, would you consider this floating? Would this be considered floating? I've made it so that there's air pockets in the in the vessel itself, right? And I did that on purpose to try to keep it buoyant. It is not touching the ground. It's not touching the bottom of the boat or the tray. You can see that because it's just floating around. It is floating. It's not it's not floating the right way. It's not floating in a way that would uh, allow us to drive the boat down the river or across the ocean, but it is floating. So in the verdict of will it float, I'm going to give it a maybe because technically it's floating. Technically it's above water. It has not sunk to the ground uh, based on the way I built it to try to trap the air in as much as possible. So I have trapped air pockets, so it's floating as if it's an inner tube, but not as a boat. So you could go either way with this. Uh, leave a comment down below if you agree that it is floating, or if you don't think it's floating, leave a comment as well. Love to hear what you guys think, we, how, how well we did on our boat design for the floating aspect. Okay, so there we go. So we, let's go figure out how I built this boat in around five minutes of time. Let's go check it out. So here at Makeshare Daily, we're stepping it up a notch. We are going to have to build a boat, a Lego boat, and then make it float. So we're going to test every one of our designs this week to verify whether or not it floats or doesn't float within water and it's only going to be made with these 221 pieces that we have down here so let's put five minutes on the clock <coughs> so will it float boat and uh the first one up is the ocean liner so we got to build an ocean liner out of our 221 pieces. Again, the kit link is down below. $15 on Amazon. Um, that's a lot of seams for a base. But I think that's what we're going to want to do. We're going to do this for the cap. <clears throat> okay. So, one of the things I've learned with um, making things float is that you want to have a lot of air pockets. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to stay upright if you build air pockets. But see, here's a pocket of air, and then when we put this on top, it's going to contain that pocket of air, hopefully, uh, and water won't leak into it. So that's the trick: is that all the little cavities and holes, you want to make sure that it's filled up with um, pockets of air. So 
So I'm hoping that these ones like this store some of that pocket of air inside of our little vessel here. So then we do this. And then the back side, okay, so what do we wanna do? So we wanna put this here. That means we need to finish off the bottom. One of these, no, the purple one. Go with purple. Okay, there we go. And then one of these here. Then, brown maybe? How many browns do I have here? Okay. So we're building an ocean liner. Two minutes in. Switch that up. Make sure that we're overlapping. There's almost an ocean liner. Okay, that's not too bad. So then we're gonna double that up on the back here. Typically it looks like that. Is there anything else that we wanna do here? Does this add anything? Any value? A little bit. I think that looks a little bit better. Like a fairy where it has those, those parts that are um, these two side parts and then they have the the deck if you will it slides down so that kind of adds a little something to that I think we need to add embellishments to the top here like radar towers maybe smoke stacks you know something like that maybe a little something like this whoops Where's, uh, I thought I had another one of these cones. Oh, I have the green ones. Okay, so I'll use these green ones back here. It's kind of smokestacks. We'll use this black one as a radar tower. Like that. Okay. Yeah. That's what I think of when I think of um, ocean liner, right? Carrying all the cargo in the in the bottom here, maybe a little bit on top. You know, maybe there's some stacked boxes on top like this. Maybe that's good. Maybe I do that. Maybe I add those as as a feature where it looks like these are cargo containers that are being stored on the ocean liner while it's moving across the ocean. It typically, this tower is typically taller than this. Maybe I need to add another layer in there. What do you guys think? Make this a little taller. Let's see what that looks like. Yep, I think that's better. So now, five minutes are up. Stop the clock. Yeah. I think that turned out fairly well. Now, the trick is question is will it float you know so check out the beginning of this video to find out whether or not it will float if you skip that section on the video so go check out the beginning of the video and see if it will float now let's talk about some of the features so we got the cargo containers here we got the uh, smokestacks back here um, little radar system up here, antennas. You got the ramp up here to uh, where they where they put the ramp down, and then you can drive your car onto or or drive the cargo onto the freight ocean liner, and uh, that's a pretty cool build. So now let's go talk about what we're gonna build tomorrow. So an ocean liner that was kind of fun. Now let's spin the wheel and find out what we're going to build tomorrow. It is a fishing boat. Again, we're doing a whole line of boats and then we're gonna see if they can float. So 
let's go see if I can build a fishing boat that floats. Okay, let's go check it out. And I'll leave you with this. I want everybody in our community to make something and share something each and every day. That's the whole point of this channel is to have a community of makers going ahead and making whatever they love to make. I think you'll be happier and more engaged in life if you just go ahead and make something today. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.